against my firm resolve and fixed purpose to give my all to the Lord. My time, my talents, and all that I am or ever expect to be. To the establishment, to the building up of the, to the building up of the kingdom of God, of the establishment of Zion, the kingdom of God upon the earth. True happiness. Say with me now. True <laughs> happiness is not, not found in doing, doing what you want to do, but learning to like to do the things you ought to do. My strength, my strength is as the strength of ten, because my heart is pure. I live my life this day, and Jesus Christ is by my side. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, put your trust in that spirit which leadeth to good, yea, to do justly, to walk humbly, judge righteously, for this is my spirit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda, and whenever I was 17, almost 18 years old, I left the cult that I was born in. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll have it linked in the description box down below. But today we're going to be talking to my cousin Colleen, who also escaped the order, which is the same cult that I came from. Hi, I'm Colleen. I escaped the order. Same story as Amanda. Almost, I left when I was 17, almost 18. Also, she is, so I did interviews with Joe and Jesse, and you are their half sibling. Right? Yes. So same dad. Mm -hmm. I asked them how many siblings they have. Do you know how many siblings they have? Nope. Do you know what number sibling you um, have? I mean, I know I'm number five in my mom's kids. <laughs> but that's it. That's about it. We wrote them all out, like the moms and all their kids and stuff, but I really don't know which number I am. Because I was trying to do the math, too, on how many, if he had 14 wives, and let's say each of them had like nine or ten kids, that would be like... 140 kids. But some of them had like 15 and 12. Like my mom had 12. Wow. Dang. My mom only had 10. So how old were you when you found out who your dad was? Um, I was really little. I remember I had a sleepover at my best friend's house and we were waiting in line to catch the bus. She said her dad was Daniel. It caught me off guard because... I was like, no, that's my dad. You can't have the same <laughs> dad as me. And then she explained, like, to make how it made sense that he was there, her dad. So did you not know what polygamy was at that time? I mean, I knew I was in the order. <laughs> I was a kid. Was like, I knew, uh, I knew that we were supposedly building God's kingdom on earth. I mean, I always knew Daniel was my dad. That's weird to I me. Because but I, I knew that know. I wasn't supposed to call him dad. Oh, so your mom had told you the truth, basically. So my mom lied to me. I mean, we're not <laughs> stupid. So she... Then I was. She... I had no idea that this guy that was coming over every third night was my dad. Because I asked him, I said, are you my dad? And he said, nope. I think Chanel actually figured it out when we were really little. And it kind of just like paved the way for the rest of us. And so she just told you, and then you told I don't know how we knew, but we knew. But we knew we weren't supposed to tell anybody who our dad was. Mm -hmm. We also knew, like, not to call him dad, and we called him by his middle name, which is Daniel. And What's his first name? John. Oh, yeah, though. And we couldn't take his last name because we weren't from the first wife, so we were like, you know. So he's also not on your literal bastard children. Yeah, you don't have a fake name as your dad, right? No, I was actually the first one in mom's family that didn't have a fake name on my birth certificate. I think she got in trouble or something. I don't have anybody on my birth certificate other than my mom. And then so it's just I, unknown as father. If blank, just blank. Wow. There's room to write somebody in there, and actually, I think that's what I want to do. Let's like. Figure out how to get him on there. I'll have to take that last name, though. Maybe I could be Colleen Snow Kingston. You could, yeah. I think it would be Ooh. easier for you to put a dad name on yours than it would be for me to change my dad to be my real dad. Because mine's Kyle Grant, and I don't even know a Kyle Grant. But yeah. to be able to change that and say, look, my family life. There could be well, way more there repercussions. Could be, yeah, because that's falsifying legal documentation. But everyone did it in the order, and that's not my fault. It was religion. <laughs> it was, a baby. was it religion or was it fraud? Can I talk about how... So, when I, I heard this story when I was in order. I heard that your mom and got married, well, engaged to your dad at the same yeah. time. So, the story was, like, Daniel was courting my mom. And while he was courting her, he asked her if she wanted to go to his wedding. So As a date? Want to see me marry someone else? I don't know if my mom went to the wedding. I think she did. Because he was courting her and... How does she feel yeah. about that? Did she... Say, I think it hurt her feelings. Go? Yeah. Especially because the other lady was like wanting to get married first. So it was like... I'm better than you because I'm closer to the first. Or I always, something like that. No, I always I didn't understand that. Like I, there were so many times where girls would be like... Well, I'm the fifth out of nine, so I'm like the top five. Uh, like, oh my god! You know what? You know what? Like, 
Out of 14, my mom is the middle wife. Nobody likes her. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, I, I think that I love, I love her. But I'm just saying, like, all the other wives picked on her. She didn't get have any friends. It's because she was handsome, too. The also, handsome. handsome. It's a bloodline thing. They treat you like mm-hmm. crap or like royalty, depending on what family right. you were born in. The, like, less Kingston to you have in your bloodline, then the more trash. Like, you're going to have a trash life, basically. <laughs> were you encouraged at a very young age to get married? Yes. Was that, were you pressured into it, do you feel? So, absolutely pressured into it. I mean, when I was 13, they were telling us in Sunday school that that's the most important thing in your life. Like, that's when they say mm-hmm. start fasting and praying for... Meditate about it. Yeah, for when you're supposed to marry because um, that's the most important decision of your life or whatever. They were trying to get everybody... I mean, some chicks knew who they were supposed to marry when they were 13. Me, I kind of, like, I didn't know, but I still fasted and prayed and, like, did everything I thought I was supposed to, you know? Like, the goal was to get married and have babies. That was the goal. And <clears throat> by the time I was of marriage age, I actually already had run away. <laughs> because of this? Or no, this? I just didn't like the order. I didn't want to be a part of it. Oh, wow. I wanted to leave. Like, my whole life I wanted to leave. I don't even know what age I was when I decided this is stupid. Why am I That's here? what I was going to ask you is how the heck did you know? Because you knew from a very young age. And I didn't figure it out until I was, like, at least 14. So, <laughs> before the order school was made, or, well, it was in the making, then my mom did let us go to public school. So I went... Oh. To, in kindergarten. Oh my gosh, that that makes sense. Because you got to see how the real world was, and then you get to see the order, and you're like, wait a minute, this is weird. Yeah, so honestly, I think that the influences of outsiders is what kind of helped me realize that my life was not normal, and there wasn't any like reason for me to be a part of a place that's going to make me unhappy. Mm-hmm. You, you were pressured to get married at a very young age. Did you have direction? I did have direction, actually. Really? But so the way for me, it was very different. So first I was 15 and I ran away. I mean, I had been brought back mm-hmm. while I was still 15, and then they said, you can't go to school. Um, did you have to do Penn Foster You need to school? find out who you're supposed to marry. Yeah, I did the online school that they... Yeah. So when you're bad in the order, they that's what they did to me too. When you're starting to act up and stuff, you either have to start, well, go to meetings with Paul, and then <laughs> they really just encourage you to get married because that's how they get you stuck. You get married and pregnant. The only meetings I had with Paul was when I got married or when oh. we were getting engaged. Okay. Because Paul, it, like, he didn't like me, like, forever. Even so, when I was brought back, and my best friend, who ended up being my maid of honor, she was having a birthday party, and then she invited me. And then Paul said, "You have to uninvite her because if you invite her, then nobody can go." And I asked yeah. why. And I just felt thought that the leader hated me, like just forever. Like why? Yeah, though? He did. You know? I think my mom or it was Daniel said, "Well, you're basically like a bad egg, or you're you're like a the bad apple that's gonna ruin the rotten exactly. Yeah. You're gonna ruin everybody." So then what? You're supposed to be in isolation? So I was, yeah. Like, all I had to do was work. I was a lunch lady with uh, my older brother at the order school, and I was being monitored. You know, I wasn't allowed to see my outside friends anymore. I wasn't allowed to. I was basically, like, brought back to repent, and then they finally let me go back home. But when I went home, they made me go to work, and, like, I wasn't allowed to go to school, online high school, and they tried to get me to do that, and I did do that. But anyways, like... Before I was able to go back home, they had me working on a potato farm. Which, yeah, which I had worked there before, but they had me working under somebody um, who ended up being my husband. So I guess you could I say I that. married my boss. So then he, you were working together and you happened to have direction on each other. Direction is so, direction from God, having a dream, and then... Yeah. I had my direction before I even knew him. I knew what oh. he looked like. I knew... So I was at the repentance home. <clears throat> In Idaho. In Idaho. <laughs> I would fast and pray, take long walks, because I was in the middle of nowhere. and Nothing to do. Yeah. And if I ran, you know, like, where would I go? So I always had to come back. I guess you could say I had a dream. The dream was, like, I was in a cave, and it was scary out of the cave, and there was this dude with dark hair. I didn't see his face, but I felt safe with him, so I just sat by him. And then when I woke up, I was like, oh, I wonder if that was direction. And then I did hear a voice in my head say his name, and I was like, What? And, and you I, didn't even know him? I didn't know him. Okay, that's I think weird. I danced with him once. Wow. So I definitely do believe in direction. Um, the order does have some good values, but I shouldn't have been forced to get married. 
Yeah. Um, so how did that work? Did he come forward on you? Talk to the leader, talk to your parents. You know what, my older sister, one that doesn't talk to me anymore, one of the twins, she actually went to him because she was friends with him, I guess. I don't know. She said that he was probably going to be someone she was going to marry or something. I don't know. She oh. always thought she was like hot shit. But. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she told him, she's like, why don't you think about marrying Colleen? Because she's trying to leave the order. You should save her. Oh my god. And gosh. so she planted that seed into the universe or into whatever. I didn't know this dude. Before I got the direction, she told him that. Maybe I'm just psychic and I was just picking it up. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. But honestly, okay, so as far as like being forced to get married, that was like the only option for me. Um, because I could have stayed home, you know, I could have mm-hmm. stayed in the. Continue the life that you had that you didn't really like, right? Because mm-hmm. you were running away from that life. But then. So what ended up happening after I got the direction, summer farming was coming up, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so they needed extra help, so they was like, let's send her over there and plant some seed. Mm-hmm. Plant some seed. <laughs> <laughs> so we were roguing. Um, oh, I remember that. I never did Where that. you had I to like walk people. through the fields and um, rip out the diseased potatoes. Mm-hmm. I got like so good at it. So they had crews, right? So the crew that I was in, my boss ended up being my husband. Wow. So Wait, it was so how totally, long were I was, you working with him before he had direction? Oh, dude. Came forward? <laughs> Not very long. Kind of like we just knew we were going to get married. Wow. So my sister already told him to marry me. To save you. <laughs> and then to save me, yeah. And then um, I got that direction and I just kind of was like, okay. And, and so you're like, 16 at this time, right? 15. 15, oh my gosh. I was still 15. Because wow. I got married, or I got engaged, and then a month later got married. Wow. That's yeah. fast. So I worked with him, and then kind of we kind of started BOSing, as they call it, breaking order standards. Ooh. And did you kiss him? Did you kiss him over here? I did. Oh my Tell you about it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we would pair off all the time, right? Uh-huh. After after crew. When you were engaged? Mm-hmm. Before you were engaged? We were naughty, but we weren't like actually naughty. <laughs> <laughs> we were just like flirting, you know? And it was fun. And I, we'd go out, he'd take me on motorcycle rides, and Ooh. it was really cool. And then, so we're, you know, in the middle of the farm. There's like nothing around us, and there was this patch of trees. <laughs> Is this your first kiss, story? This okay. Was, okay. Not my first kiss, but okay. my first French kiss. Oh! So I guess you could say my first real kiss was Ooh, with my husband. Um, ex-husband. But anyway, so <laughs> it was so bad. Like, we went into the trees, like the bushes, whatever, and we just cuddled, and then, like, we decided to kiss, and then, like, our teeth, like, clacked. Oh, no! I was, I was thinking <laughs> we were going to just, like, and then all of a sudden, it was, it was like, ah! <laughs> You have to go to the dentist. <laughs> first kiss with a French kiss. I was like, you're like, I oh, even call that can we kiss. try that again? <laughs> that was like naughty to me. It, yeah, I, I was like, pecs are okay, right? Because outsiders would kiss their kids on the lips and stuff, and that was oh, like, yeah. no, I thought that was bad too. I had a boy kiss me on the cheek, and I felt guilty for three days straight. I was like, why would I let him kiss me on the cheek? <laughs> you feel like you're going to hell. We got in trouble for pairing off a lot, so. Mm-hmm. Because you're not supposed to do stuff until yeah. you're married, you know? Well, you save your first kiss for your wedding day, you can't hold hands till you're engaged, you can't even pair off, yeah. And if you're engaged, they will let you, you can be in a room, but the door has to be open. Like, that's how, yeah. there's still so many rules when you're engaged. Like, you can hold hands, you can hug, they even would say don't hug for too long. It depends on the family you're in. I remember walking in on my half-sister and her fiancé at the time. They were in a room with the door open, but she was, like, laying on him, and she, we caught her rubbing her lips. And then she rubbed his <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. But that was like, she got in trouble for doing that. Naughty. <laughs> yeah. Spanking. I want to know how he came forward on you. I want to know that story. <laughs> but I guess you were already sneaking around, so he kind of knew it was coming. Uh, right? Yeah, we kind of just were engaged to be engaged. But, like, so after we were, like, together a lot, people started pulling us apart. Like, because they knew that's what I wanted. You know, I had just left the order. And I was like, all right, fine. I'm getting married. Left the order. Well. I left the order at 15. Oh, you ran away? Yeah, and then and they left? brought me back, and oh. then I, I was at the repentance home, and then oh, I worked okay. at Idaho, and then I came back to Utah, and then I was the lunch uh, So they forced you lunch to leave the order. And yeah. you, okay, because you're a minor. You can't run away, right? They're gonna, yeah. The police are going to send you back home. We actually got in trouble, and 
Daniel was trying to do everything to stop us from getting married. What? Because he knew that's what I wanted. I had to fight to marry. So the reason why, I mean, like, I was wanting to go to school, first of all. And then it was like, well, if you go to school, you're going to have to pay for it. And you're, uh, and it's going to be $2,000. And we can't afford that because it's a public school. Or you could do like every other order member, do online schooling. And if you do online schooling, we'll let you get engaged. For high school? Yeah. But high school, public school isn't, doesn't I know. I didn't they know that. To you? They liked me. Wow. And so then when I worked at the order school, then they took all my money and they only paid me like whatever the legal limit was. They didn't pay me when I worked in the school. Well, after those hours, they was like, okay, as soon as you turn 16, you're going to get a big chunk of money because I was working overtime with my brother. Oh my gosh. And, um, and then I would try to do the online high school and stuff in between. And it was really hard. I didn't finish high school before I got married. When I got married, though, then I tried to go to school, but he told me that he didn't want me to work in public or go to school. Your public. husband told you that? Mm -hmm. Why? Because he didn't want anyone to hit on me. Oh my gosh. It's controlling. Very. I had to fight to get married, and they were like, well, you can't come back and say that you were forced to get married. And I was like, like, I'm looking back at it, and I'm like, yeah, that's kind of like forced. You guys put me in all these situations and forced me and th throw me around everywhere. And, mm -hmm. and, they, and on top of that, they did take my money. Like, Everyone in the order, though, says like, oh, well, you said I do, so it was your choice. But here's the thing. You were given this option or this option. That's I tried to run away. Yeah. I tried to run away. I didn't want to get married. I wanted to go to school. I wanted... And just like what you were saying, they have control over everything. Your money, they have control over your job, where you go. You couldn't even... He, he, if he said you can't go to school, you can't go to school. Yeah, he's the boss. He's yeah. the chain of command. You it's gotta like, ask your husband, mm -hmm. and then he asks his dad, and his dad asks his the leader. You have to be so defiant to get what you want to and just like that you didn't know that the school was free. There's all this knowledge that you mm -hmm. don't know so you really do think you're stuck there because mentally you are. Daniel was trying everything in his power to not let me get what I wanted which was like get married at the time because I was trying to get my own freedom. When I came back home from working on the farm I, I felt what it was like to basically live how I wanted a little bit. So like I was saying like Daniel was trying everything in his power to not let me have a happy wedding day. So I actually, I still have my yep. wedding invitations. I want to see this. And the day before we got married, Daniel changed the location of where we were going to get married. Why? Why would you do that? It, I don't know. Because he, he hate me. He hated me. He hate me. Look, it's Chanel. Can I show this? <laughs> With that Jesus picture in the background. Oh my gosh, there's Colleen Look, on Colleen the back. Brown. Wow. Yeah, so this is what... Can you show passports on here? I'll cover this. Yeah, this is what Colleen looks like. That's Colleen. This is an order. What? This is an order. Letter of love. Who is this? Uh, somebody. Eldon? One of my grandpas. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Charles and Vesta Kingston. Come That's mine. Right. <laughs> what, I, I probably this. saved it because of the address. In looking for this kind of woman and striving to be kind of person myself, what kind of woman were you looking for? I expected to marry a woman who had these qualities. I looked for girls who are honest, truthful, virtuous, obedient, dependable, knew how to manage home affairs and children, loved the Lord and the truth. Oh God. Oh God. Oh look, this was the, the newspaper I was in. Ooh. Hey, there you are. So we got Chanel right here and Colleen. And, and this is Colleen in her wedding pictures. You designed that dress yourself, right? I did, and it got, um, oh actually I think I might have the actual design. It got, it got a little bit changed. <laughs> um, to be more virtuous or what? To be more virtuous, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I yeah. wanted to have- You should be a fashion designer one day. That's what I wanted to do. Where's your invitation? I want to see this. Here's my wedding invitation. I use a uh, Valentine's sticker. <laughs> Swag from advanced copy. Yes. Thank, thank you. Look how pretty it is. Right? So this is the address, um, which is they call it the Order um, Castle. It's one of Paul's places. Oh. So I had this tucked in every invitation, so people would know where to go. But then the night before, it, they changed it. So it says Colleen Snow and. I am pleased to announce their marriage on Saturday, March 21st, 2009. Together with their parents, they invite you to attend the wedding ceremony at 10 o'clock that morning. It started at noon. <laughs> it was late. I was so late, dude. Were I was nervous? pissed. Oh, I was nervous? supposed to get married at the castle. Oh. And they made me get married in the warehouse. Why would they do that to you? Because they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I'd rather die than have They never liked me. They always treated me like crap, and I'd never do why. And then someone said it's because you look like a slut. Did they really hurt your feelings when they called you a slut? No, because I knew I wasn't a slut. Oh. I, I was just like, like, fine, don't be my friend then. Nothing bothers Colleen. <laughs> and that's what scared me about you when I first met you. I was like, wow, she's not afraid of anything. Here, do you want it? I have extra. I can have it. You can have Should it! Should I come to your wedding? <laughs> I don't even know if I came to your wedding because at that time you had a bad reputation. You and Colleen. You and Chanel. No, no, no. Chanel didn't until she started getting the divorce. But my dad, he was so mad at me and Cammy one day because we were wearing short skirts and we were being, we were being defiant. And he was like... Tell your kids to quit acting like Colleen and Chanel. <laughs> and I was like, we love it when we become swearers. This is the first time I ever got curls. Aww. I mean, that's cute. as an adult. Look at little Colleen. Like adult, so did your husband, did your husband try to live polygamy? So when, before we got married, I told him I'm not living polygamy and, I'm, and I am planning on leaving the order. And before? Before, yeah, he knew everything. He knew wow. everything before he jumped in. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he was thinking then, but so I told him that polygamy is not okay, and he, we had a fight about it. Like he's like, well, what if, what if, what God, if God tells, tells me, me to cheat on you? And I'm like, God's not gonna tell you to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I've made a decision. That's Isn't it? Like I deserve my own husband. I deserve my own man, mm -hmm. and and that's not the life I want to live. If you do that, then we're not gonna stay together. Mm -hmm. And he he fought with me about it a little bit, and he just kept thinking God was gonna tell him to. Because they tell the boys their whole life that they're going to be living. That you have to live polygamy to make it the celestial kingdom. So these men think that God's going to tell them, whisper, I don't know, at night, that they're going to need to sleep with someone else one day. I don't know. Well, I in my thing. story, it was it was his dad that told him. So, so his dad did tell him? Yeah, he marry? said, Colleen's not having any babies, so you should marry somebody else that will. How long into the marriage was that? Uh, it was when I left. So I left at 17, I got married at 16, I was almost 18, so it was like almost You left years. at 17, married at 16. Oh, so you got married at 16 and then you, you were like leaving the order at 17. Yeah, so I left the order and we were still together. Um, were you trying to pull him out with you? Yes. Hmm. Um, that doesn't usually work if they're, if you believe in polygamy. <laughs> this looks like my So don't oh. touch it, there's some mice piss on it. <laughs> it's my <laughs> piss. <laughs> I thought you were like speaking Russian. Mice piss. <laughs> Mice piss. These look just like mine because my yeah. mom, my mom made them just like that with a ribbon. Can you see it in the camera? Like, don't touch it. There's oh, mice. pull it up a little bit so you can see. Yeah, my mom made them just like that. So, my, so the first wife in my family made this for you? Yes. Not my mom. So I guess my mom got it from so my sister. So this was after Chanel married her son. So she was already kind of in our family. Oh. Kind of or wanting to be. So, so. yeah, Chanel married my half brother. So. It's my That's science and girl. Girl. Yeah, everyone said you were a lesbian. Shorter. Dude, I don't even know. I think <laughs> kept the um, the sign in, the reception sign in. Huh. Oh my god, he was obsessed with his fucking truck, dude. <laughs> it's huge. You guys look tiny. <laughs> we were tiny. So what inspired the outfit? Everyone said because I wanted anime. to go to school. Aww, that's so sad. Was the what my line wore, but the inspiration for the outfits were. Because I wanted to go to school. How many people was in your line? 12. Wow. On each side. I think it was 12 or 11. Oh yeah, that one's so pretty. Where did you take these pictures at? Just all over downtown, Salt Lake. Yeah, it looks like the track station right there. Like, Wait, how old was he? 21. And you were 15? 16 when we ended up being engaged. We got it. So you had your first kiss at 15? Yes. To the Bahamas. We went to the Bahamas. We had, look how many freaking planes we had to drive. The order was so cheap. You had to drive them. <laughs> so let's talk about when you left. So you left. You were in the process of divorcing your husband because you realized that he wasn't gonna leave with you, right? Yeah, we did get divorced. We tried. So we filed for divorce. Dad is the line to God, so he has to listen to his daddy. Blah one above another. Do you serve him the papers? We did it together. So you got married when he was 21 and she was 16. Why is that legal? Why can a minor with the... I don't... I don't believe in that. Not at all. Divorce legal. papers. <laughs> oh my god. So what happened was we filed for divorce and then he decided to join the army. But I, while he was in basic training, I got a letter back from the court saying your documentation is incomplete. So your um, divorce is not granted. I tried to get a hold of him. I sent him this. 
and it got sent back to me. So when, but how, how and then much I had longer? to reprint off two or three copies of 60-something pages. How much longer did that take then for you to finally get divorced? A while. Like, I think, okay, I was in beauty school when I finally got divorced because my I didn't want my last name to be Brown. And Pretty he's somewhere in still in the order, right? Uh, as far as I'm aware, he's still in the order. So now you've been out of the order for nine years? Um, it'll be ten years, December 3rd. Wow. Oh my gosh, you should celebrate. What should we do? Know, Make a pinata of Daniel? So we got divorced, and yeah. And then you left. And you, wait, where did you go when you left? Did you move in with... I, I went to Holding Out Help, oh. and Holding Out Help got me my new parents. <laughs> Holding Out Help is the best. I'm going to leave the dis link in the description box below for Holding Out Help. And Colleen has a YouTube channel and an Instagram and a Twitter. I'm going to leave all of your stuff in the description okay. box. Okay. I was going to show pictures of me and Daniel Ooh. to prove he's my dad. You're going to have to bring these if you ever want to get his name on your birthday. He's my daddy. Papa! Do you think he'll have to pay child support if you get his Stupid. name on your birthday? Hell no! He won't do a damn thing! Mm -hmm. Oh, these are your baptism pictures. These are the baptism pictures. You were eight years old, right? So, yeah, I was eight years old. That dirty water. Sean? Me and Juan Pago! That's when he got picture. baptized, right? No, that's when I got... This was after... So Why this is after... Right? Well, because we weren't always seen with our dad, so we used the, every opportunity. My mom used every opportunity she could. To take a picture with him, yeah. To get pictures taken with him. So well, thanks. My little brother. She sees him, like, what, once a month? Because he has 13 other houses to get to, 13 other wives to impregnate. Uh, Did he have a favorite wife? Duh. Who was the favorite? So, she's his favorite? Yeah, her kids got to call him daddy. It but she's not even the first wife. She's not. But everybody had this diary because they sold them at the order store. I got two. Store. <laughs> These were my first kisses. First That's girl why kiss, people thought you were gay. First boy kiss. I might have been a little gay. <laughs> Maybe a little gay. Yeah, yeah, that rumor ran around that you were lesbian. So I wasn't. This wasn't. French kiss was. Oh, okay. These okay. were my other first kissings. <laughs> they were. It didn't rumors. matter. It's true. I kissed my best friend. You like that? The two order members who uh, hate watching. Oh. They'll be like, I knew it. I knew it. But guess what? I have. <laughs> How to use a condom? <laughs> Why is that in there? Because, because I didn't know. know. <laughs> You're like, okay, for future reference. I was like, I spray painted some of my room. It's pretty tripping. Wait, well, wait. here's the condom instructions. <laughs> Where did you get condoms from? I went to the store and bought them. You did? I thought it was funny, so we blew them up. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I was mortified about that stuff. I thought it was so gross. I was like, ew! Dear <laughs> children, everything in here is what I truly feel and happen. Sisters don't read this or else. They're all the way from nine years old. Holy Candy cow. is in here somewhere. Read, can you read one? Read one. Pick a day, any day. Okay, August 31st, my birthday. Okay, let's see if there's one for August. January, February, March, April, May, June, Eight. July. Right, okay, thanks. Damn, I did not write in August that time. I got an August 20th. Okay, let's close it now. Okay, let's see what it says. It's an orange. So I named my diary Zazi. I don't know why. I needed to have a name because I needed to feel like I was talking to somebody. Let's see. Uh, well, Zazie, it's been a few days, but not too long. I'm waiting for my bedding to get clean. I'm happier and a bit bugged. Happy because I don't have to work at Lagoon anymore. Bugged because mom thinks I bought the weed and still have it. She wants to go through all my stuff. And she's like, well, if you didn't still have it, you wouldn't have a problem with me looking through your stuff. Hello? Who doesn't have a problem with someone looking through your things? Hello, personal space. Well, I made up my mind. I'm going to try to sell it and get rid of it till I am 15. Then I'll try drugs at least weed. <laughs> <laughs> you did have weed in your room? No, it was literally, so it was a branch. Like, I, I bought weed from somebody at Lagoon, and then by the time it got to me, it was literally not. It was a branch. It was nothing. <laughs> they sold you a branch. Though, they sold me a branch. And you were like, I'm gonna I was in so much trouble for this little tiny twig. How old were you? Uh, this was 07. So I wasn't 15 yet. Okay, but it has to be chronic? What the fuck? Does, I don't even know what I was talking about. Like, <laughs> you think you're a pharmacist. <laughs> so she might want to read you, but that's a bit much. So she wants to trust me. I can't. I can tell, but she doesn't know for sure, and I want her to, so I'm going to get rid of it. But I'm not going to just throw it out. That's a waste of $10. <laughs> it was $10 weed? 
<laughs> I want to sell it to someone. Hmm. I hope. To, I hope I never. And did you find it. out that it was oh. fake weed? That it was just. A I mean, it was. I mean, now that I'm older, I know things. Oh. I bought weed before. I want to get rid of it tomorrow. Is my drug test, but I don't have to go for like another three hours because it's one thirty in the morning. What? Okay. <laughs> I am waiting for my bedding to be washed, but I. But this week is going to be clean and fun. See, this was my first love. How old were you? 13. And he told you he liked you? We were totally gonna get married, but I married his brother. Aww. Oh, this was when we actually ended up smoking the weed. <laughs> Who smoked? You smoked weed in the order? No, this was that one weed. And it wasn't me it that wasn't smoked weed. it, it was my friend. <laughs> That you twig. smoked the branch? The twig. My friend smoked the twig. And um, and I, and this was the first alcohol I had. It was a wine cooler. How old were you? Oh, seven. You were young. I was terrified of drugs. Like, I wouldn't even... So I had a crush on this kid. Oh, which yeah. is your crush that you had, your very first crush on the order, it was his younger brother. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And he told me that he smoked weed, and I got so mad at him. Because I was like, drugs? Drugs? Swing. And I ran away because oh I so did cute. not like her. I was the maid of honor and I totally bounced. Why? Because fuck that shit. You didn't like who she was marrying? They were so controlling. You were doing her makeup for her wedding day? Yeah. Did she want to marry her men? I don't know. Yeah. Do I say the memory again? Should uh, we pray? Let us pray. What's your favorite order standard? Mine is K, save your first kiss for marriage. I don't remember those. A is for appreciation, B is for brother. Wait, so did you know that L used to be for love? Really? And now it's changed to L is for loyalty. Did you know that? No. To be loyal way. to the order. She don't care. It's I think it's <sighs> interesting, okay? I have been hearing more and more that the order is changing because the the, the millennials are standing up for their siblings and they're not let, allowing abuse to still happen. Like, yeah, it still sucks. They still do the whole polygamy thing and the ten percent and the child labor, blah blah blah. But at least they're taking the steps. I don't to believe fight that they it. are all. T I don't believe that. You don't think that the younger ones are standing up more? I think that because I of don't social media. Know, but like I don't believe that everybody's like. I'm not saying it's doing better. Really? I'm not saying that every single one collectively is doing better. I'm saying because of social media, because of maybe the show, because there's so many people that have stood up and we're, told yeah, their story. Paving the way. Yeah, and I have been contacted by multiple members of the order to see what their options are. And that's way more than when I very first left. But I do think more people will be leaving eventually, and I don't necessarily think that the cult will end, but I think that it's going into the direction where a lot of more people are starting to say you don't have to live polygamy. Well, I hope. Oh. Celestial Kingdom. I hope the order does change. Honestly, I just wish they would get their heads out of their ass. Mm -hmm. Or out of the leader's ass. Yeah. Anyways, that's Colleen's story. Part of it. Yeah, and Colleen has a YouTube channel. You can go on over to her channel after this. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer and respond to as many questions as possible. Thank you for watching. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye.